Hey guys, I'm so excited to finally tell you about my sink and putting hot water into the semi. Super excited. I'm going to show you how to build it and how to make this a system. All right, so for six years now, you guys know that Scott and I have been over the road and we have driven over a million miles as a team together, but we have so many more miles. You guys know that I do cooking in the cab and I teach you so many recipes and food and healthy food that works for me because of my food allergies and allowing us to eat high quality and help us not gain weight when we're on the road. But you also know with that comes doing dishes. And for six years, I've been continuously trying to work and improve my sink system and get hot water in the truck. So here we go. How did I build it and what did it take? You guys know, first off, I started out with a jug of water and just a collapsible bucket, similar to this one. And now we're upgraded last year to pumped water. We've just done a lot of trial and error that you guys don't even know about. And we've only shown you the best of what we've come up with, but I think we finally figured it out. So let's get right into just how the sink works. Cause maybe you didn't see our tour of the entire truck on how we also created the bed and the dinette with a Murphy bed, but maybe you missed it. So here we go. So you turn this on with the start button. There we go. Pumping water out. It has hot water. This will get to over a hundred degrees. Isn't that awesome news? So this is going to make doing dishes so much easier. We've been already trying it out for a month. So it's tried and true. Let's talk about how we added this cabinet into the shelf. We did not do any permanent damage to the truck, so that would affect the resale value of the truck. So, nice trip to Lowe's, dowel rod, uh, a big piece of board, we did cut this down, a uh, piano hinge, a uh, drill so you can drill these holes in, two pieces of board here, and then two casters. And I'll go ahead and put it in the description, a uh, link of your shopping list. In these sections that you can add into right here, I screwed these piece of boards in. So that way it would give me a more permanent mounting for the casters and then knock the casters out just a little bit so it could clear the door when it opened. Then I went ahead and added this piece of wood onto those casters. And then we drilled the holes for the leg of a hot water heater to sit down in so it wouldn't move around. Then we added this for the piano hinge. That way, this is where the dish pan sits on when we're doing the dishes. You can also use this for a cutting table, a prep station, other things like that. Now let's talk about what goes in the cabinet and on the shelf. So underneath the shelf, you have these water jugs. These hold about six gallons worth of water a piece. We have two of them, so that's about 12 gallons a week. That's enough for us to do dishes for six days and drink water and we just fill it at home with our well water so we're getting a cost savings from that to go into paying for this and i want to note that this is a military style jug and you do need this one particular to work with the system that we've created because the way that the pump goes in it is a bottom draw pump so it has your hose that goes right into the pump so we pull off the hose put it through this little hole run the wire through there so they both come out this hole and then when we need to switch tanks you just take the lid off pretty simple now this is going to your hot water heater now going to your hot water heater this is a hike crew we found this on amazon and we think it is a wonderful thing it does say that it's for outdoor use so use at your own discretion we did research we feel fine using it in the truck so that's what we do you can see though it has a propane tank this has lasted us a month as we're on the road so far and it has not run out so it's pretty good then you have the water hose going out the back to your water source it goes to the hot water heater and then you have this hose this is actually a shower thing the reason i'm keeping this shower head on here is because it has an on off feature so in between rinsing or scrubbing dishes you can turn it off and it helps save you a lot of water but you only know that this can fit out the passenger door and if we needed to we could pull off on a ramp and take an outdoor shower if we wanted to. Then we just put it right here in this tote so if water drains out, it's just fine. And to finish off the sink, we have this basin and we do all the dishes in here. You can collapse it if you wanted to, to take up less space, but then we just pitch the water out the window and it's all good. So that is our sink system. I have found it so helpful when it comes to doing dishes. I no longer have to fill my gallon and a half water jug every day. So it's saving time right there. And also it's helping me do dishes faster and also using a lot less water. So it's wonderful. And you guys know doing dishes with hot water, it's better, especially if you're having a red sauce or grease or anything like that. 
Hopefully you guys found this helpful and it added value to you. It's been a project that's been on my mind for six years and I've been working hard at it for three years now. It's finally come to, I'm so excited to let you know about it and let you know that it's working. And if you wanna know any more information about it, you can look in the description and uh, we'll have it all in there. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Do you guys do dishes in the truck? Let us know. Do you cook in the truck? Let us know what you're doing in the truck. What's your favorite meal to cook? All right, guys, so stay safe and enjoy the adventures. Bye.